أبرز الأخبار السينمائية واللقاءات الحصرية من هوليوود تتابعونها مشاهدينا ضمن برنامج نجوم وفي البداية نتعرف على أبرز العناوين نودع هاري هيرماني ورون بينما يوقفون أخيرا أعمال السحر في فيلم هاري بوتر and the Deathly Hallows بعد ذلك بو بيجلت ايور والبوم ينتقلون الى الشاشه الكبيره في المغامرات الساحره لاختطاف خاطئ في فيلم ديزني ويني ذا بو <تصفيق> يجد نيل باتريك هايس حياته يغزوها رجال درق صغار في سميفرز جميعنا يعرف حكاية الصبي هاري بوتر منذ اكتشافه حقيقة كونه ساحر ولكن في هذا الجزء من هاري بوتر and the Deathly Hallows يسعى بوتر ورون وهيرماني لإنهاء مهمتهم لتدمير آخر ثلاثة أعمال سحرية I can't have magic wood work in here. Can you feel anything? <gasps> That's it. Up there. They've added the Gemino curse. Everything you touch will multiply. Give it source. دانيال راتكليف يجد الفيلم الأخير من هاري بوتر الأكثر تحديا من الأجزاء الأخرى. Finding the the emotional depth that you have to try and find for Harry in this film was 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 tricky, um, and I think I got there to to an extent, particularly towards the end. Dan is as one of the most inquiring minds I've ever met. Dan wants to know, he wants to understand, and he does, and he makes sure he masters it, and then he does it. By the end of the film. Harry and Hermione are so in tune with one another. They've spent so much time together, and they've done all of these amazing things together that they kind of work together like as one person. Harry talks in his sleep. Have you noticed? No, of course not. إما واتسون التي لعبت دور هيرماني خلال الأعوام العشرة الأخيرة تشعر بأن الدور أصبح جزءا منها. I don't ever feel like it will ever be over. I feel like I'll always 
take it around with me and it, it'll always be, I don't know, part of who I am. Emma, she's just a poster girl for clever girls, isn't she? She, she was wonderful. But she could do so much more than just be the nerd. And I think that, in, particularly in the last film, she showed that. المخرج ديفيد ييتس ينهي ملحمة بوتر الرابعة والأخيرة بمشاعر مختلطة. It's been enormous fun. The people have been great. Um, it's been intense. It's been really tough at times, but it's never not been fun. And it's very unstressed. It's brilliantly run. Like the communication level, you always know what's going to happen. There's a huge amount of action in this. It's it's a war movie actually. Um, part one is a is a road movie. Part two is a war movie. Doyle set the bloody place on fire! Harry Potter fans have a literary curiosity and imagination that is not um, necessarily associated with fans of all the big franchises, both past and present. It's incredibly sad in places. It's very exciting in places. And I feel that all of the major characters have sublime moments. I have to go back, haven't I? It's a suicide mission. The boy who lived, come to die. Tell them how it happened that night. How you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. I never wanted any of you to die for me. You'll stay with me. Always. Until the end. finish this the way we started together this is an all-out action film with moments of intense emotional drama interspersed it's gonna be a, a big finale فيلم الثاني قصة الأطفال الكلاسيكية عن الحيوانات بغابة مساحتها مئة فدان تعود للشاشة السينمائية بفيلم ويني ذا بو في هذا الفيلم يقنع بو الجميع أن كريستوفر روبن اختطفه مخلوق يدعى باكسون فيحاولون إنقاذه <تصفيق> Contest to find a new tail for eel. A note is found um, by Christopher Robin's door that says, Gone out uh, back soon. Pooh can't make heads or tails of it, takes it to Owl, and Owl interprets that note to say that Christopher Robin has been kidnapped by a creature called the Baxon. A series of sort of mm, not quite misadventures, but maybe misspellings and misinterpretations ensues. And you're never going to believe this, but they go off on the wrong tangent. It's a very fine looking pot of honey you've got there. And so remarkably gooey. Gooey? Oh, that happens to be my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. What do you have there, my boy? Oh, a note I found at Christopher Robbins with strange words I cannot read. Um, but, Pooh, uh, you can't read most words. Yes, but especially not the strange ones. Let me see. There's never been a note written that I could not decipher. Here, Pooh, help yourself. Yes, mm -hmm. parchment of fine quality. Oh, stuff and fluff. الكوميدي جون كليس يؤدي صوت الراوي باسلوب نموذجي يعلق تعليقات ساخره على تصرفات بو I'm the narrator which is a lovely role because he uh, sort of observes he's very fond of the characters but he also is a little amused by them these two dimensional drawings seem to live and breathe and really exist and you know are heartwarming and funny and and Interesting. Is he still there? Oh, yes. He's still here. And I think he wants to stick with you. What? I never thought I'd have a sidekick before. I, I gotta admit, he, he's a handsome devil. Look at the chin on this kid. No, no, no. I can't do it. I tell you, it's too risky. Why, if something were to happen to this little guy, I, I just couldn't live with myself. It's a dangerous path I bounce, but I bounce it alone. Because the hunter that could would need the hero poo bear, and I'm the only one. Jim Kimmings, الذي يؤدي صوت ويني ذا بو وتيجر يتخذ صفاتهما الجسدية عندما يكون في كابينة التسجيل. I've seen myself on video doing Winnie the Pooh, and geez, I I look like him. I turn it, my stomach, I tell you, my, sto my, my shoulders round out, my stomach extends, and, and I get this look on my face, and I go, oh my gosh. And I'm doing Tigger, I, my, 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 you know, my shoulders get squared, and I, my hands are on my hips, and I'm ready to bounce at a moment's notice. I'm surprised I don't, I'm just happy I don't grow a tail. Jim Cummings does uh, both those characters, and he does a tremendous job, and uh, those are very iconic voices. Pooh left feeling unsatisfied and a little out of sorts. In fact, he was so distracted by his rumbly tummy that he didn't notice that he was walking onto the next paragraph. What is a paragraph? It's a group of sentences that form a complete thought. Is there honey in this paragraph? Oh, sorry, Pooh, no. Well then, I don't find it very useful. What's that, Pooh? I'm not sure. I shall follow it to see where it leads. Your, your tail. Yep, unraveled. Guess I'm back where I started. I'm sorry, your such a nice tail too. No matter. All good things come to an end. المخرجان ستيفن جي أندرسون ودون هال التزم بالأسلوب الأصلي للكتب. It's based on the Shepherd style of the original books, um, which his style was very loose, a loose ink line that's very sketchy. And uh, the original animators in the 60s kind of uh, picked up on that with a Xerox look, and it kind of gave it that Shepherd feel. And uh, we wanted to continue that. Well, visually, they, they kept the Shepherd feeling with the line work on the backgrounds and with the watercolor softness to it. And the layout drawings, for instance, are all done uh, uh, by hand, all in pencil. It's very, very beautiful. It's very uh, reverentially and lovingly done. Are you sure this is going to work? Well, of course, Piglet. Once I get you up in the tree, just hand me the beehive, and then tell me and I will take care of the rest, <laughs> won't we? Okay, Pooh. <laughs> I guess you've thought this through. Oh, yes, Piglet. Indeed, I have. Oh, bother. I don't remember thinking that through. Um, I'm sorry I messed up the plan, too. Oh, don't worry, Piglet. I shall get you out, and we'll try again. Oh, it's no use. Sink, sink, sink. I know. <laughs> I'll have you down in just a moment, Piglet. Yeah. Oh, no, hurry, Pooh. Uh, the bees are quite gentle. <laughs> as long as there's no sudden movement. You're taking characters that are so beloved by audiences globally for, you know, the last 40-some years. Um, so that's a big challenge because you want to you want to honor them. You want to honor their spirit. I think that A. A. Milne created some uh, some archetypes, the sort of characters that get recognized 
Oh yes, I know that kind of person. One of the most unique and enduring qualities of the characters uh, in the Winnie the Pooh world is their eternal innocence. Yes, well, the thing to do is issue a reward. Yes, I'm to... I beg your pardon? You sneezed. No, I didn't. The word is issue, not at you. You must be catching a cold. I'll probably catch it too. You'll recognize everything you always loved and you'll appreciate all of the uh, all of all of the newness and all the freshness that's being brought to it because it honors the tradition and it and it keeps moving forward. It's something that that resonates with everybody. Perhaps I could borrow some honey. Oh, just a taste of a small lick, I should say. <laughs> Silly old bass. بعد قليل تجد مخلوقات زرق صغيرة نفسها في مدينة نيويورك تعم الفوضى في فيلم الرسوم المتحركة الثلاثي الأبعاد سليبرز في هذا الفيلم تنقل بوابة سحرية مخلوقات زرق من قريتهم التي ترجع للعصور الوسطى إلى نيويورك في وقتنا الحالي None of you find that song just the tiniest bit annoying. I find it annoying. Hello, Smurfs. Argamel! Ha! Hey! Anybody reading these signs? Oh, my Smurf. Anybody that's ever been to New York City for the first time has that same feeling. It's just like so amazing and foreign and cool. In this movie, we follow maybe six of the big Smurfs. Papa Smurf, of course. Smurfette, she's the hot one. And then you have Clumsy Smurf. He, he's kind of the main Smurf in this movie. He's the catalyst. There's something about their faces and their characters, their personalities that they've been given. Um, that you, you really do just love them. It says here Smurfs are mythical creatures from Belgium, also known as Strumpfs, yeah. mm -hmm. documented by Peo. Also says that they bring good luck, like leprechauns to the Irish. Yeah. Okay, to review, you guys come from a magic forest where you live in oversized mushrooms. Yes. You're being chased by an evil wizard, yeah. and you're trapped in New York until there's a blue moon. Very good. And you like to use the extremely imprecise term Smurf for just about everything. Smurf exactly. And you're all named after your personalities? Do you get your names when you're born or after you've exhibited certain traits? Yeah. Whoa! Just what is this magic searching device? Right now I'm using Google. Ooh. Google. Neil Patrick Harris is playing the role of Patrick Winslow. He discovered that the drawings of the magic drawings with the three dimensions means that he is the most important part of the drawing. This is the first 3D movie I've ever done. Uh, and the first one where I'm not acting really to anything. The graphics guys are able, through amazing technology, to make the Smurfs appear anywhere. So my job is really to know which colored dot is which Smurf at what time. It's very hard to uh, keep a straight face during the scenes because he's, he's hilarious. He, you know, he really, <laughs> it's fun to work with him. Oh, I'm Papa Smurf. I'm the head of a small group of blue people live in the forest with 99 sons and one daughter. Nothing weird about that, no, no. Totally normal. But all of that is about to change. Oh. Asriel, that's your cue. It's a pounce on the miserable beast. And some kind of a rage-induced feline frenzy. <laughs> Good, and more hairy. Hey, but don't go crazy. These are the only puppets I have. <laughs> I am not obsessed with Smurfs, thank you. Because <laughs> I need them. It's only by capturing the little wretches and extracting the happy blue essence that my magic will finally become... Invincible! <laughs> 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 
Yeah, but you're milking it. Don't milk it. Hank Azaria is a dog Gargamel, and he's a wizard who thinks he's a shark. Gargamel is an evil wizard, and I'm pretty sure he sees himself as an evil wizard. It's not like he thinks he's good. He's evil and pretty proud of it. Although he's very, he's not very good at being a wizard. Hank just took what was on the page and just just brought it completely to life, and he he completely. Made it his own. He did such an amazing job. Shaved his head every morning. Went through two to three hours of uh, nose and ears and the the hair that goes around Gargamel's head. He's so amazing. He's so talented. He's like from one second to the other. He's talking to you like like Hank, and then he turns around. And he's the character. Completely looks like another person. Sounds like another person. Moves his movements. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> المخرج راجا غونزيل واجه تحديا في إعادة إطلاق سلسلة The Smurfs إلى جيل جديد بأكمله. We had two sort of audiences to think about there: the the parents, the now parents, who sort of grew up with the classic Smurfs, and the generations before, and and this new. These new kids, they probably haven't heard much about Smurfs. So um, it was just about sort of finding what was great about the originals. What's like, what's like the great DNA of the original Smurfs? I love our film, and I feel that uh, he was the best partner you could possibly ask for as a director. <laughs> to get a scan. Uh, My son wants one of those blue what? animatronic things. Can you help me out here? Do they come in pink? My daughter wants pink. I'm sorry, what, what, what aisle did you find this on? Hey, keep your that. Smurfs to yourselves! It's very much like life, the Smurf movie. It's someone trying to steal your essence, trying to take your power, trying to take what is inherently yours and use it for evil. It's a positive story, and it 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 has a sweet side, and there's a great message, and it's just one of those you can't go wrong type of film. I'm 546. I'm getting too old for this. According to my calculations, we lost them. Come back, get me, my cat. You know, they always send a good message or try to send a good message. It's one of those movies that at the end, you know, something good happens. Everyone can enjoy them. Come on, Smuffs! Where's Papa? Gargamel took him! No Smuffs left behind! You Smurfed with the wrong girl. Smurf a bad guy! Playtime is over! مشاهدينا إلى هنا نكون وصلنا إلى ختام برنامجنا لليوم انتظرونا في حلقة جديدة وأخبار جديدة من هوليوود إلى اللقاء